God did not give Justin Peter cerebral palsy. The devil gave Justin Peter cerebral palsy. And it was because Justin Peters, as I said, his parents or somebody in his life did something and the sins were passed on to Justin Peters. His ancestors were not living and following the commands of God. And they had demons in their life and boom, the demons then attacked Justin Peters at birth. Plain and simple. That's it. That's why he was born that way. Don't worry about it, Justin. I got this one for you. There's a real good chance I might have to repent after this video. And if I do, so be it. I don't think so. But there's this guy, and I wanna, I'm trying to avoid saying names, calling names, stooping to his level but it's hard right now there's a guy who he's been to my channel he's been to some other people's channels and this guy is a troublemaker he does not know the bible he'll tell you that you don't and he'll go about doing so by calling you all sorts of names guys like that i get all the time i'm sure other people with larger channels do the same thing and he made a statement or some statements even did a video about someone who i respect I don't always agree with on everything of course who agrees with everyone but clearly this guy is a a man of god a brother in the lord who even despite his uh disability uses that to show how much he loves the lord and how much god loves him he has not uh, used it uh, as a means to kind of shriek back as a reason to be angry with god to try to get past it unlike this person no, Justin Peters is really a man of God. And I was told this some time ago as a, as a young preacher, that when someone says something about you, sometimes you don't want to always respond. Rather than defending yourself, sometimes it's good to let God defend you, or in this case, let someone else defend you. So Brother Justin, I'm going to try to defend you as best I can. I got some words to say to this guy, Mike Rakowski, I think that's his name. I think that's how you pronounce it. Don't know where he is, some farm off some, he's always by himself. Uh, he's got a he's got a following, it's a smaller following, but it's still a following. And so I don't know if these people who are following him understand how lost he is or if they're just as lost. And I'm not gonna ever tell anyone to, to not listen to someone or to, to not subscribe to someone, but you know what, don't listen to this guy. He says that that's a lie of the devil to say that God causes sickness. Well. I guess Jesus didn't understand anything, huh? I guess Jesus just needed someone like you, Mike, huh? You make these little goofy statements, these, these backwards, unbiblical statements, these arrogant statements to say that the only people who get sick, uh, the only people who sin are people who really don't understand the scriptures, who aren't real believers. And then in your, in your comment section, you even reference Smith Wigglesworth. Maybe you ought to do some research and find out how he died and how his family died, but you want to follow this man. Let me just say something to you. Maybe you don't know this. You're going to die. I don't know how you're going to die, but you are going to die. Maybe you'll die of some sort of sickness. I'm not wishing anything on you, but you're going to have something that's going to happen to you physically. Or if you're, if you're unlucky or lucky, however you want to look at it, if you don't die from some causes like that, then maybe you get hit by a truck. Maybe you'll be shot. Maybe you'll die of a fall, but you are going to die. I'm not wishing any bad will on you or anything like that, but you are going to die. And maybe you haven't noticed your body. It's failing. You don't think so. And I know I understand. You probably think that when you die, some angel's gonna grab you by the hand and usher you into heaven because you're just so awesome, so great, so holy, that that's the only way that you're gonna make it to heaven because you surely won't do so by getting sick. And of course, if you, don't never, if you never get sick, you'll never die. But boy, do you have something in store for you? Do you have a rude awakening coming your way? You may not have noticed it, but just by looking at you, I don't know your history, I don't know your medical history, I don't know what's going on with you right now, but your eyes aren't as wide as they should be. Your skin is, is not like it should be. You're bagging around the eyes. Your teeth are not as straight as they should be. So what's going on with your body? 
you do realize that every human body begins to die and decay starting in certain parts in certain stages from age 20. You're past 20. So things are happening to you. It's just, it's just how it is. It's happening to me. It's happening to Justin. It's happening to everyone, including you. You are not beyond this happening to you. Your bones are not as dense. Your blood doesn't hold as much oxygen. Your lung capacity isn't the same. Oh yeah, you've got some issues. You can deny them all you want. And when they happen, who are you going to turn to? You can't turn to God since he doesn't want, he didn't allow it to happen. He didn't cause it to happen. I don't know who you're going to turn to. What's really funny though, when people respond to you, and I wouldn't, I, I would just never respond to you on a comment. Even when you commented on my videos a couple of times, I, I'm not commenting back to you that cause, because I know what, I know what someone who's not thinking rationally sounds like. I'm not getting to this conversation with a person like that. And so this is just going to be a one way conversation. I won't respond to you. I won't block you. So I don't think I will, but I won't respond back to you. When he does respond, when this guy, Mike responds, it's always name calling, fool, wicked, ignorant. And it's when someone gets sick, it's because they don't know the word. They don't understand God. They don't have a relationship with God. They're not a Christian. They're not a real believer. And then when they do get sick, you'll say it's because of their sin. But that goes counter to the Bible. I know you don't have a medical degree and you, and you certainly don't understand the scriptures like you think you do because what you state goes counter to the Bible. It is James who says when someone does get sick, how we should call for the elders. And he says there's a if clause. He says if that person has sinned, meaning that everyone who is sick has not sinned. Or again, the person who was blind, Jesus said that uh, that was done he did that so that his glory might be demonstrated in him. And you're running around or sitting down, I guess, saying that you have no sin. Well, again, that goes in contrast to what John says in 1 John. If we say we have no sin, we are a liar. Well, who's the liar here? You or the Bible? You come off as some loud talking, trash talking, really insecure man. And if if you really had a legitimate gripe, if you felt like that he was in error of what he was teaching, you should say that. Maybe you can't get in touch with him, but you see he responded. You could have just stated that you didn't agree and that there was a better way. And for if anyone who was dealing with any sort of sickness, this was the right way. But no, you attack and demonize and call people all these names. And if anyone wants to question you, the first word that comes out of your mouth is fool. You really ought to go ahead and just stay, take, take a step back, sit down, take a step back and try to rethink how you are attacking people who are not unbiblical, but who are very biblically sound. But I don't know what it is about you. Maybe it's to make yourself feel better. And I know you don't care about how you look, but you should.